All right, we are headed west. Where headed are we west. headed? <laughs> We're headed to Amarillo, then to our cool little boxcar Airbnb, and then to Palo Duro Canyon. I think I need to go get my coat. Yeah, I told you that. I didn't pack anything. <laughs> Do you have everything that you need now? Probably not. It's 37 degrees outside. Are you dressed appropriately? No. <laughs> Great. And Free sponsor ads. me. Sponsor me. What a burger. <laughs> here we go. Hi, I'm here on to What a Burger. How can I help you? Hey, can I get a honey butter chicken biscuit? Let me get a cup of the dipping sauce of honey butter as well. Dr. Pepper. With a medium Dr. Pepper. Hi, do you have honey butter chicken? Uh, two Dr. Peppers and a sausage taquito? Yes. Okay, two okay. Thank you. Aw. Well. We are blessed and highly favored. They gave us two? They gave us two. And your taquito? And your taquito. Let's go, dude. What a burger. What a chicken biscuit. What a day, man. Where are we about to pull up? Cadillac Ranch. I can't say that without sounding country. Cadillac Ranch. So Cadillac Ranch is a public art installation just outside of Amarillo off of Route 66. It features 10 Cadillacs that are buried nose first into the ground and it's become a thing for tourists to come and spray paint their own designs, make their mark on the art exhibition. So that's what we're going to go do right now. We got some spray paint and we're ready to make our mark. You going to make a mark? It is windy. What'd you say? Facts. What are you going to spray paint? Landon and Cairns. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to go check it out. to the big Texan ranch. We're hangry. We're hangry. <laughs> The 72 ounce steak. Hilarious. Did I put a 
holding butter in this thing. I see that. by the Santa Fe Railroad Company in 1907. It was considered a cool slash ice car that transported primarily perishable goods across the United States. At various stops along the route, ice was added to each end of the car in order to maintain a temperature that would allow the products to arrive fresh at their final destination. The large vents on the roof were sometimes open to allow air to circulate through the car in lieu of ice, depending on the product being shipped. We're guessing, but we think that this car was involved in a derailment on the Plainview subdivision about a mile east of here. There are similar cars located around the panhandle that the ranchers used for grain or feed storage. Primarily, they are located close to the windmill so that livestock can be fed when they come up for water. Check out some of the names written above the glass table on, on the wall. Do you notice the date? That's pretty neat stuff. So I got in the car, just in case you couldn't hear me. <laughs> outside because it is so windy and Mackenzie's taking a nap in the box car so it's it's one huge room and I would just be annoying her if I were trying to make videos and all of that kind of stuff so this place is really neat um, it's out in the middle of nowhere Canyon Texas close to Amarillo but the sunset is going to be gorgeous this place is really cool I would recommend it to anybody it's very peaceful out here there's nowhere there's no one near you or around you um, it's, it's a great place to come and just rest. So, uh, really cool. So I woke up a little early and I am at Palo Duro Canyon State Park and I'm about to hike the Lighthouse Trail. Uh, pretty, it's I think I believe the most famous trail in Palo Duro Canyon. Um, hopefully get some really cool shots of the sunrise and gonna take you guys along with me. Step in the horse boot. Tip number two arrive alive. Drink water, stay hydrated. Don't get a heat stroke. Alright, almost there. My last tenth of a mile on Lighthouse Trail.
So I just hiked over there to the lighthouse. I am hiking the lighthouse trail today. I was reading the verse of the day on the Bible app and coincidentally, <laughs> it's Philippians 4.13, which I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I think it's just funny because I just needed strength from the Lord to get up that mountain just a second ago. That last 10th of a mile is intense. <laughs> but uh, that verse is definitely taken out of context a lot of times. Paul is actually writing from prison when he says that, when he writes that, and he is, is just saying that, and I'm, I'm content, I can live with very little because the Lord gives me strength to do so. And so I was just praying this morning that God would always uh, make me content uh, and, and content with just being with him and having a relationship with him. And that's really all that I need. So hope that encourages you. Don't mean to go full pastor mode, but I thought it was kind of funny that Philippians 4.13 was the verse of the day when I needed strength this morning. <laughs> What is this state park considered? The Palo Duro Canyon State Park is considered to be the Grand Canyon of Texas. Sweet. This massive circle is. <laughs> is this like the UFO? Is this. Are the aliens about to invade Paladero Canyon? What in the world? What is going on? <laughs> like, what is that? It's this perfect black circle surrounding the sun. Please comment below. <laughs> have, any, have any of y'all ever seen this? Is this an extraterrestrial presence? Mackenzie, the aliens are coming for you. I think it has something to do with the cave. Is there an eclipse happening? 